Welcome to Bobby Osinski's Inner Circle. I'm Bobby Osinski, and this is a show all about music, music production, and the music business. My guest today is studio drummer Denny Sywell. But first of all, I get a lot of questions about copyright, and here's the latest on copyright in 2019. First of all, one thing that you should know is any time that you commit an idea to a fixed medium, in other words, you put it on tape, you put it on a CD, you put it on a hard drive, you put it on a streaming service, it becomes copyrighted. Yes, automatically it's copyrighted. Even if you put it on a page, for instance, you write the music out, that's still considered copyrighted. So the easiest thing to get a quick copyright is to put a song up on YouTube, put it up on SoundCloud, and make it private. But the thing about it is, as soon as you put it up there, even if it's private, it's time-stamped with the date. And that's really what you need. Now, there's a myth about something called the poor man's copyright. So the whole idea is, if you send yourself a CD or a tape or a thumb drive with the song on it via certified mail, then that's dated and that becomes copyrighted. The problem is, this doesn't hold up in court. So don't even think about doing that anymore because it's not valid. What you could do is go online and register your copyright at copyright.gov. And what you'll do is you'll go to register new claims and fill out either form PA for public performance or SR for sound recording. And you can either send it in via U.S. mail, which is what we had to do for the longest time, or you could submit it online. Now, there's a big difference here. If you send it in via mail, it costs you more. It costs $85. If you do it online, it only costs 35 and people used to not want to do this because you had to basically do a form per song. So if you have five songs, it's five times 35. If you have 10, it's 350 bucks. That becomes a lot of dough. Now they've changed it. So you can put all of your songs on one form. There's no limits to how many you can put on. But here again comes another problem. If you're going to mail in your form... The average time for processing is 13 months, and it can be as long as 26 months. If you do it online, it's anywhere from 2 to 10 months with the average around 6. So it's still a long time before it becomes officially registered. 